downhill skateboarding is pretty much a big skateboard with bigger wheels, bigger trucks that goes faster and we go down hills. We gravity pull us down. Started as a way to get to the beach and since I live on a hill it just kind of evolved from there trying to get down my hill which didn't work successfully all the time. Um, I still crash a lot actually um, but not as much. Since I started skateboarding, there was not many people doing it in Dunedin. Um, now there's a lot of people doing it throughout New Zealand, um, as well as overseas. Racing's getting a lot bigger, free riding's getting a lot bigger, everything is just a lot more people doing it. It's good to see. The longboarding scene's grown a lot. We've got more people doing it, which means that there's a lot more companies emerging. Um, we've got more board companies. New Zealand itself has more board companies. Um, we we can make our own trucks in New Zealand. We've got a truck company. Um, most things now. The companies that we have in New Zealand, I I hope they get big internationally. Um, as far as making a living that they don't have to do anything else, I think that's still just a dream. Um, there's a lot of companies competing to get people to ride their gear, so they've got a lot of hard work cut out for them, but if they keep making quality gear I don't see why they couldn't. Hi, so my name is Mike and I am the owner of the Cheapskate store in Takapuna. Uh, we pride ourselves on being one of the more longboard friendly uh, Cheapskate stores. Demand for longboarding specific equipment um, and um, you know, wheels, trucks, bushings, gear, boards um, has grown dramatically in the last five to six years. As a store owner I know that um, in the last two years um, you know, here's a classic example. I had someone come into our store in Birkenhead the other day and personally thank my wife who was running that store at the time for opening a longboard uh, friendly store because he himself um, has just got into the scene. There's an example of how fast it's growing and how much it's growing. 40 year old guy, you know, his kids are into it, he's just bought a board for his daughter and hallelujah there's a new store backing them um, in their town. So it's growing. A lot. In terms of suppliers, um, they're starting to come to us now so and, and try and get our feedback about what is popular, what's in demand from the scene itself. I know I spoke to a supplier today who's um, going to the effort of tuning into some of the social media sites that are, that are run by the longboarders themselves, their own scene. Um, and trying to get the feedback from them directly without asking questions, he's just observing um, what it is that people are asking for and he's marrying that together with our knowledge um, and our staff's knowledge and um, so there's a relationship going there three ways, customers, retailers and distributors with their overseas connections trying to establish exactly what it is that they can do to, um, to coin the cliché term to, to ride the wave that is the, the growth in longboarding particularly in this country. Well, I started skateboarding three and a half years ago. Um, I went to a longboard race six months after I started in Queenstown. And after that, I was just hooked, so 
I tried to go to all the races I could. And then one and a half years ago, um, earthquake happened in Christchurch, so I had a bit of time off work. I went overseas. There was a long world tour that went around the world. So I went to Southland, Vancouver, then all around BC, and down the west coast of America, California, Portland, Oregon, from LA to Frankfurt, and stayed in Germany for a while. There was a race in Czech Republic, went there. France, went to France. Uh, Slovenia. And during all this time, I traveled all through Europe as well. Where else did I go? Finland. There's a race in Finland. In Wales. Went to Scotland. <laughs> Just went everywhere, right? Since I've started skating, it's taken me to 16 different countries. Um, yeah. Profit.